Welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles' Law. Shoobity doo doo. Oh, yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles S. Live. And today we got a story time. The time where someone on Instagram wanted me to be a part of their OnlyFans. So this story starts off on Instagram. And, you know, you come across people on Instagram from time to time. Um, where this person thought, like, I was going to just be like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, create an OnlyFans account for you and everything. Um, we're just gonna call her Miss Callie. So Miss Callie was this um otaku blurred. Um a blurred is someone that's a black nerd, so people can know that's into anime, Marvel, DC, um, sci-fi, um, manga, you know what I'm saying? And you know, she she was she was nice looking. Miss Callie was a nice looking young lady. Um, but it started off as a cool uh, you know, some of the people that you connect with on Instagram. Are cool, you know what I'm saying? But um, so the story starts off. Um, you know, the person followed me and everything. I followed them back. Um, and you know, the first two weeks were cool, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, casual stuff, man. You know, I seen they were into the same stuff I was into and everything. Um, they eventually sub to my channel. Do not know if they're still sub to my channel or not, but it is what it is. Um, but Miss Kelly was definitely cool. Nice looking, definitely intelligent, um, you know what I'm saying? I see some of her posts and everything. Um, but, you know, then here comes this one week in particular where she's like, yeah, I'm creating OnlyFans. And, you know, she you know, she in the end by trying to pressure her brother, y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? By like, you know, sneak, you know, some little teasers that she got her OnlyFans now and stuff. Um, I wasn't buying it, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm not against people that have OnlyFans, so this is not, oh, man, I hate people that got OnlyFans. Do what you do. Some people use OnlyFans just to tease their bodies and all that stuff. Terrific. If you do it for from a business aspect, that's cool, too. It, it all depends. I, I'm just not paying for a subscription fee, so... You know, the week after, she, you know, she she bugging me in the inbox, you know what I'm saying, on Instagram. I'm like, ah, oh, you, you should get OnlyFans, too. You know, you can see more of me and all this stuff. I'm not buying no subscription to see you. You know what I'm saying? I get it, Miss Callie. That's your thing. Power to you on that. I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure she probably tried to get other people to do it because, oh, she's a nice-looking blurred. I get it. But I was just like, I'm not subscribing to this mess. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. <laughs> so, um, you know, eventually, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I just stopped. Like, I lost contact with her because it started to get, like, really annoying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to pressure nobody, period, to do something they don't want to do. Keep that in mind, people. Um, and the thing was, we it just grew apart. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just glad it worked out where it just wasn't like in no disrespectful manner or tone because I didn't want to do it. Um, I guess I could say that person was respectful, but the thing was, I'm just like, I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get it. You got OnlyFans. Great. Um, I guess it, it worked out for her, you know what I'm saying? Because I never saw her on IG ever again. She commented on a few of my, uh, you know, some of my content way back when, but I, I just not, I'm not buying into the OnlyFans thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it's a trend. Some of y'all want to see a nice looking lady on, on OnlyFans, you know, showing more of their sexual appeal. Terrific. And like I said, this is not, that's not for me. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you do on OnlyFans, great. If you're making a living off of it, great. It's nothing wrong with it. But my thing was... You, you're not going to try to guilt trip me or tease me like you thought you was and thought it was going to work. So the moral of the story is, guys, keep in mind, just because <laughs> people don't always subscribe to what you're trying to do, don't be mad about it. Don't try to edge people on. Let people decide for themselves what they really want to do. Because in the first place, that just wasn't my idea. I wasn't planning on getting no OnlyFans. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Why? Why pay to see something, you know what I'm saying, like that? Like, I'm not doing all that, you know what I'm saying? But this is my story time. Has anyone ever pressured you to get something like OnlyFans, maybe even Patreon? 
You tell me in the comments. It's your boy, Professor Charles S. Live. Have a great day, and I'm out. Subscribe, comment, like. Thanks for watching.